Okay. Um, so to start, I'd like to just introduce myself as well as Kelly Heim. Um, so my name is Adam Brantman. Um, I am uh, our brand manager with Clean Athlete Nutritional Supplements. Uh, I come from a, a heavy sports background in endurance sports, rowing in college, and then transferred to uh, bicycle racing and endurance sport. Um, joining me also on the webinar is going to be Kelly Heim. He's our Senior Director of Scientific Affairs for HRM Innovations, um, which is the parent company to Clean Athlete. Kelly's background is a doctorate in pharmacology from Dartmouth Medical School and a Bachelor of Science in Nutritional Biochemistry. He's lectured widely to practitioner, doctor, um, medical health practitioner audiences on nutritional genomics, bioavailability. Kelly um, like myself, is an avid competitive athlete. Um, he's a bantamweight bodybuilder, physique competitor, martial artist, runner, endurance athlete, and really sort of lives and breathes um, a similar clean athlete lifestyle to all of you and um, to myself as well. Um, really, you know, trying to apply his knowledge and education of evidence-based nutrition to help athletes meet performance goals. So Kelly and I are going to... Um, going to team up and tag team this um, webinar for you guys. I'm going to start just by going through um, the initial few slides about who we are and what we do, um, and then turn it over to Kelly once we get into more detail on the product. So Clean Athlete. Clean Athlete's a line um, of NSF certified for sport, nutritional supplement, certified free from banned substances and contaminants. Our suite of targeted products promotes peak performance by fueling and fortifying with a solid nutritional base to support an athlete's training and overall well-being. Our approach, really our mantra, is that a healthy athlete is a more effective athlete, plain and simple. So where we differ from um, some other brands in this space is our focus really is on everyday health and well-being for athletes, knowing that building a solid nutritional foundation first and foremost is going to be key to an athlete achieving uh, performance gains in a particular sport or athletic discipline, um, and peak performance really then becomes a positive side effect of being a healthy athlete first and foremost. In terms of where we came from um, as a brand, so Clean Athlete, we launched in uh, the end of 2013 as a sports nutrition um, product line within our parent company, which is Douglas Laboratories. Douglas Laboratories, which you may be familiar with, has been around for over 60 years, operating in the healthcare practitioner dietary supplement space, and their approach has always been providing a very high-quality, research-backed, clean set of nutritional supplements for doctors, pharmacists, chiropractors, medical doctors, um, acupuncturists, naturopaths, who would then use um, and recommend those products for their clients and for their patients. So we gave birth to Clean with the same idea, analogous to Douglas Laboratories, um, the same core values of uh, manufacturing, expertise, clean product, science and research-backed dietary supplements, and sat around a table and determined, you know, had a discussion about how we could apply that same knowledge, um, the fact that we're entirely vertically integrated, to reach a new customer segment who we were a part of and we were, you know, particularly passionate about, and that's what gave birth to Clean. So um, a very high-quality nutritional supplement, tested free of banned substances. We knew that uh, we wanted to be NSF certified for sport, which is another brand differentiator, targeting athletes. So everyone from your everyday uh, weekend warrior, participant, um, athlete, to uh, professional athletes, professional sports teams, endurance athletes, those for whom sport is a full-time job. Um, you know, with this focus of promoting peak performance by fueling and fortifying first and foremost with a solid nutritional base. Like I mentioned, Clean is NSF certified for sport. Um, it's a key differentiator for the brand and for the product line. If you're not familiar with the NSF certified for sport program, you'll see a logo on each one of our products. That is the NSF certified for sport logo. The NSF, which I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on on this slide and the next slide, um, is a third-party testing and certification agency the purpose of which was created to meet the growing demands of athletes, coaches, healthcare professionals, um, to certify that sports supplements are safe and free from contaminants and banned substances in the water list. 
So it's the only third-party certification agency um, that's recommended by the MLB, NFL, PGA, NHL, and LPGA. Um, and you can be assured that whenever you see a product with this logo, whether it's ours or one from, a, from another brand, that that particular product has undergone a very stringent laboratory testing protocol to help confirm content purity and product compliance. In terms of what the NSF Certified for Sport program actually is and what the process looks like, it's really a three-step process. If you look here at the bottom of this pyramid, the first step is what's called GMP registration, and that's an annual inspection and audit of our manufacturing facility. We manufacture every one of our products in-house in our facility in Pittsburgh, and this is a quality assurance registration um, and guarantee. So it's for uh, the industry, for manufacturers like us, as well as ingredient suppliers. Um, and that's the GMP registration. The next step is um, product and ingredient certification. Um, and that's done on a lot-by-lot -lot basis. So every time we produce a particular lot of our product, we send a uh, final goods um, sample uh, to the NSF certified for sport. And what they do is a set of tests for toxicological review, label claims testing, as well as an environmental contaminant screen. Um, they produce the testing results, um, send it back to us, so we can see each and every um, substance contaminant that they've tested for. And again, this is on a lot-by-lot -lot basis. The purpose being um, to ensure for athletes that the products are safe, that they're healthy, they're for consumers, for doctors, for dietitians, healthcare practitioners, um, and our case, athletes. The third step is what you see on product labels, the NSF certified for sport testing. And what that is is a specific set of tests and screen for um, over 180, I think now it's, it's over 200, WADA banned substances. That's banned substances in the world anti-doping agency list. The purpose of which is to ensure that when the products are consumed, athletes, coaches, healthcare professionals, um, those in the medical field can rest assured that the products are free and clear from banned substances. Um, so it's an added level of safety for any athlete who um, truly deeply cares what they're putting in their body and for professional athletes, most importantly, you know, who uh, at all costs want to avoid um, a banned substance test from uh, consuming an unknowingly uh, banned substance. In terms of who we who we work with, um, who we sponsor, you know, so, so uh, QT2 is among a list of um, uh, key strategic partners of ours um, who we've uh, partnered with in an effort to really support the health and wellness of their athletes. So we work with uh, QT2, you guys, the core diet. Um, we're an official partner of the Major League Baseball Players Association. We're also the, the official nutritional supplement brand of USA Water Polo, as well as the Action Hagen's Berman Cycling Team. So working really with key industry and sports community professionals to provide their athletes um, with a safe and effective nutritional foundation to help them achieve their peak performance. Um, we sponsor a number of individual athletes as well across a number of different sports disciplines. Triathlon is certainly one of them. Um, like I mentioned, water polo, cycling, um, BMX cycling as well. Um, our primary, you know, key partnership um, is that with the Major League Baseball Players Association, and it really is and was when we launched it back um, in 2015, the first ever partnership really helped uh, to design and optimize the nutritional health and well-being of professional baseball players. And it's a partnership that um, was, was, was the first ever for the Major League Baseball Players Union, um, as well as state athletes. Now I'm going to turn it over to Kelly. Um, Kelly's going to go into um, a bit more detail on how our product line specifically is organized in terms of categories, and then um, additional detail on several of the products themselves. Thanks, Adam. And I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. It's a real pleasure to have this opportunity to go over some specific products and um, how to use them and what the, the science behind the formulations themselves uh, really is, just on a very uh, a broad level, since I don't want to go into tremendous detail here. We have a number of products uh, shown here. They're all shown here. And just looking at the timeline here of pre, during, and post-exercise, when you would want to take them, 
and that is really just a, a picture of optimal use. It's not necessarily, um, you know, a, a, a way that you have to adhere to in, in terms of when to take a supplement. But this kind of lays it all out for you, what our products are, and the optimal timing for which each of them would be taken. So with the foundation, I'm uh, really going to focus on the multivitamin, the omega. Um, we'll just start with just an overview of this category. Like Adam said, a healthy athlete is a, a better athlete. That's all there is to it. When it comes to optimizing performance, your foundation has to be solid or else everything else is not necessarily going to make a big difference in your performance, your recovery, or other uh, sports performance objectives. So um, performance is a, is a different uh, category. It's more focused for uh, athletes in their uh, recovery and to support healthy adaptations to a training stimulus, whether it is uh, resistance training anabolic stimulus or whether it's a uh, it's an endurance type of stimulus, or both. Often it's both. So the clean recovery, the clean isolate, and BCAA would apply across many different types of training. And mostly they are going to help create a climate post-exercise um, in the case of recovery and isolate that's going to support protein synthesis um, adaptations that set the stage for strength, power, and other areas of muscular development and lean body mass gains. The BCAA uh, plus peak ATP, that would be used before, during, and or after activity to help to mitigate some of the loss of amino acids that inevitably occurs during high intensity or prolonged efforts. The specialty products, we're not going to go into detail, but they are important for certain types of athletes. The antioxidant product provides important uh, vitamins and, uh, and essential and some non-essential nutrients that help to support the uh, removal of free, free radicals and the active oxygen species that occurs during high intensity or prolonged training. And then a clean focus is for cognitive support, and that is important for several types of sports. If you think about it, someone's performance is not only a, a, a musculoskeletal or a nervous system um, related activity, it's really a brain activity when you think about it. So Clean Focus does help to support the cognitive end of things for certain types of activity. Now, if you look at all the studies on vitamin D and exercise, there are over 1,500 of them that have been published. Uh, these include scholarly reviews, meta-analyses, and other types of publications. But vitamin D, if you had to pick one, one essential nutrient, a micronutrient, that plays a critical role in lean body mass, uh, muscular performance, cognition, and overall immune function and daily wellness for an athlete. This is the one. And 5,000 IU is ideal in the sense that some people will not need 5,000 IU per day. If they're already close to the optimal range or maybe just shy of it, they might only need maybe half of that. Um, you can always dose this every other day. It's a very small tablet. It's very easy to add to the regimen, but this plays an important role in immune function, recovery, uh, calcium absorption, bone health, um, helps muscles recover strength after really intense workouts if they've been injured, if there's uh, some, um, some uh, problems with overtraining. These are things that really call for this type of very, very simple addition to a protocol, vitamin D. So it's going to provide 5,000 IU. Um, once per day or once every other day, it's pretty simple. Next slide. The multivitamin does provide 1,000 IU, which may be enough for individuals who are already getting vitamin D elsewhere or uh, are exposed to a lot of sunlight, even though those two factors seem to have a variable uh, role in determining somebody's vitamin D3 status. The clean multivitamin provides essential vitamins and minerals in the right proportions to meet the metabolic demands of intense and or frequent training. And it starts with providing highly bioavailable forms of each nutrient, such as methylated B vitamins, lutein, lycopene, zeaxanthin, astaxanthin. These are carotenoids that play a role in protecting muscles from antioxidant, of, from oxidative stress. These are antioxidants. They also support healthy vision uh, and immune support. The vitamins, minerals, and there, there are some fruit and spinach extracts in here really fortify this antioxidant component of the formula. 
And free radical damage, as all of you are aware, is uh, one of the things that you want to moderate in every way possible to support recovery and to maintain optimal health for, for any athlete. So these are essential nutrients that support general daily wellness and immune function. It's amazing how common subclinical nutrient deficiencies really are. And with this type of product, you really put a simple measure in place to minimize the risk of those small deficits in nutrients that occur. Even if the diet, the diet of an athlete can be quite good, um, you, you can still run the risk of things like folate deficiency, other, uh, other nutrients like zinc are commonly deficient as well. So this is the formulation right here. You'll notice it's two, caps, uh, two tablets per day, which is very easy to uh, comply with. And it's going to give you pretty much everything you need and nothing you don't. If you look at the omega-3 research in the context of exercise, um, you, will, you will know uh, if you've ever searched PubMed, if you have a reason to search PubMed, there are over 500 studies on fish oil and exercise alone, not to mention all of the other things that omega-3s are critical for and the epidemiological evidence showing that so many people don't get enough EPA and DHA in their diet. There are a lot of genetic factors that determine whether somebody needs fish oil or whether they can get away with some of the plant oils in our diet, and those, those genetic factors are very common. So the best thing to do is to ensure adequate intake of those active omega-3s, EPA and DHA, which our bodies can't make as well as we get older, as well as those genetic factors can determine that. So omega-3s are not only important for cardiovascular, neurological health, but they also help in musculoskeletal recovery after exercise, they also maintain healthy body composition. They can reduce the rate of muscle loss in uh, caloric restriction and in demanding exercise programs. They can help maintain immune function in the face of physical stress and, and hard training. And also uh, neurological and visual health as, health, as I mentioned, very important for athletes. And the list of benefits is just so extensive. Um, I'm not really going to go into any more detail, but this is the formulation. It provides 500 milligrams of EPA, 250 milligrams DHA. This is this is pretty common as fish oil goes to see a ratio like that. But the, the total amount in one soft gel um, that would pretty much give you a, a a good dose, a good daily dose. You could you know, just take one soft gel in addition to whatever uh, product regimen you're using, just to make sure that you're getting enough omega threes without having to worry about taking in several servings of fish per week, which may or may not be possible or palatable depending on the individual. This is a great way to just make sure that that intake is where it should be. Gut health is really becoming more widely recognized as one of the pillars of overall health in a wide variety of clinical contexts, not the least of which is exercise and athletic performance. So by maintaining gut health through a probiotic along with a healthy diet in general, you can not only support your immune system, but you may even support an improved recovery from workouts and overall gains in performance when everything else in, is in place. Clean probiotic is very simple. It's just one capsule daily that helps balance the bacteria in your GI tract so that you can um, optimize immune function. You can make sure that there are, there are good living organisms that are functioning in a way that science is really just beginning to understand. And, Nutrient absorption is one, one way in which probiotics can help support overall health, but like I mentioned, immune function is largely contingent on gut health. So many aspects of how we function and even brain health, muscle function, are determined in part by factors originating from the gut. This is a multi-strain probiotic. It gives you eight strains of lactobacilli and bifidobacteria, which are the main uh, friendly bacteria that uh, inhabit the uh, small and large intestine. For athletes, this is going to support immune function, gastrointestinal health. And if you think about reasons why athletes get sidelined that are not related to being injured, um, these are the kinds of things that often are involved, uh, gut health and immune function. So this is just one thing you could easily use to support those. So this is, a, this is the product label right here. You can see there are different strains. These are all friendly bacteria. Um, this product, obviously, in keeping with our commitment to quality, this is tested for potency and purity. So what you see on the label is what you're getting through the date of expiration. 
So VCAA has been known for a long time to support a lot of different components of athletic performance, whether it's recovery, lean body mass gains, um, just general improvements in body composition, energy levels, um, reduction of central fatigue. There are a lot of uh, scholarly papers out there that are based on a long history of research. The BCAAs have been researched for decades in the context of sports nutrition. So the science is very, very robust uh, with BCAAs. Uh, some problems with BCAAs, they tend to um, require a very specific formulation so that they're easily mixed, valuable, um, and also one good thing about this product is it not only does it mix well, but it actually tastes great. BCAA consists of three amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Leucine is present uh, in abundance in this product. Leucine is really the driver for protein synthesis. It's not so much a constituent of protein itself, but it actually turns on pathways that activate ribosomes in the muscle. And ribosomes are the players in protein synthesis. Those are the machines that take all the amino acids that you consume in your diet and turn them into uh, contractile proteins like myosin, heavy chain, and other proteins that allow muscles to contract and allow fibers to get bigger. PKTP, this is uh, a molecule, obviously, everybody here is probably familiar with what ATP is, but as an orally administered supplement in a certain type of form, PKTP has been researched and the studies support its utility in reducing protein breakdown, also helps to increase muscle mass and strength. So that's in this product as well. This product is great for supporting recovery, supporting repair of muscle tissue uh, after strength training sessions or after competitions like powerlifting, bodybuilding, any other anaerobic or, or um, high intensity type of exercise. It may also be useful for endurance athletes because as, you know, as we know, and whether we like it or not, you're going to use up amino acids while you're training. There is going to be protein breakdown through muscle catabolism, and that's something you want to avoid, and lots of research shows that if you can mitigate that loss of amino acids through uh, adding a product like BCAA or some type of anti-catabolic agent, that your overall gains over time are going to be greater than control because a lot of what determines how much muscle mass we have and how strong we are, a lot of that is determined by how well we have managed uh, protein breakdown. It may enhance endurance exercise capacity. Uh, there's a, there's a uh, factor called central fatigue that tends to affect um, endurance athletes, especially during long races. Um, BCAAs may be able to help with that if they're taking during, taking, uh, taken during exercise. Also, this is a direct source of energy for muscle. So in essence, this, this type of product allows you to train longer, harder, stronger, you could take it before, during, and or after exercise. And here's the formulation right here. Um, you'll see that the, the three amino acids in PKTP are there. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple product. Tastes great, very easy to mix, and very convenient. So uh, creatine is probably one of the most well-researched supplements in sports nutrition. There was a meta-analysis that showed that uh, the greatest effect of creatine supplementation was observed for weight training types of uh, variables, and strength and power athletes, anybody who's involved in, in intense bouts of high intensity, uh, short duration uh, activity is probably going to benefit from creatine. Individuals with a high proportion of, of uh, fast switch muscle fibers are also highly likely. And then vegetarians are often deficient in creatine, so they're typically the best responders of all. So lots of different types of athletes should consider creatine. This product contains only creatine. CreaPure is sourced from Germany. It's a high, um, it's highly pure. It, it, this is a, uh, this is a form that has been evaluated in clinical trials. Creatine monohydrate. There are lots of different types of creatine out here, out there, but this is the type that you want to use. This is the one that pretty much, I would say, over 90% of the studies support. So here's the formula, just five grams per scoop. That's typically what an athlete would need per day. There are different dosing protocols that you know we could go into it on another occasion, but that's typically enough for the average athlete. And it can be taken any time of day, but optimally it would be taken after a workout with uh, carbohydrates or a meal. Electrolytes are critical for 
individuals who are exercising in the heat, uh, exercising indoors, um, who are uh, salty sweaters. There are a lot of people who really do need that extra boost of electrolytes and really shouldn't uh, just rely on water alone. With electrolytes in a capsule, this allows flexibility and versatility to uh, better adjust the electrolyte intake for the individual. It's also convenient in the sense that you, could put, you can just keep it with you and travel with it easily. Um, and this will help prevent mild fatigue, dehydration, muscle cramping. Um, it's, it's basically for anyone who's going to be involved in an in intense activity in a warm environment for one hour or more. So, um, I would, you know, there are different, different, different opinions out there depending on who you talk to, but um, more than two hours, that's typically when most, most experts would recommend that you should definitely take some electrolytes, but depending on how much you sweat, uh, one hour can certainly res result in a significant loss of sodium, so um, you really want to get in that, uh, you know, 60 minute mark with something. And then, uh, you know, here's, here are just some other details. If the temperature is above 80 or if it's above 70% 70, uh, 70 humidity, um, those are other reasons to consider this product. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, these are electrolytes. And we lose them in sweat. Chloride is also one. So this will just give you everything in one vegetarian capsule that you can adjust based on the individual. So Clean Endurance is a chewable tablet. This is D-ribose. And D-ribose is one of the ways that your body makes ATP. It's a precursor to ATP. Um, it's not the same as creatine, obviously. Creatine just rephosphorylates ADP to ATP, whereas ribose provides a backbone of ATP that creatine can't. D-ribose is really focused primarily on endurance, but there are some studies in bodybuilders and other strength and power athletes that uh, have shown promise with this type of uh, intervention for performance. So this is um, going to provide just D-ribose. That's pretty much, that's all it is. It's just D-ribose. It's not going to be metabolized the way other sugars are, so it's not going to cause any kind of insulin response. These are great tasting tablets. They work within 15 minutes, and consuming after a workout can help speed muscle recovery. So it's one of three chewable tablets pre, during, and post exercise. Next slide. So like I mentioned, ribose is a precursor to ATP. If you don't have enough ATP, what ends up happening is you, you lose a little bit of energy primarily during the first few seconds of an anaero uh, anaerobic training bout. So if you're standing on a track, that first few seconds around the track, you know, let's say the first 100 meters, about half that time you're using stored ATP. So ATP does play a critical role if you're in a competition like a sprint of any kind, whether it's on a bike or whether it's running or whether it's in a swimming pool. Um, also in the weight room, obviously anything involving um, that type of uh, anaerobic activity. And like I mentioned, um, this is definitely appropriate for endurance athletes for different reasons, just to help replenish ATP as you're going through an event or a long training session. So here's the product right here. Here's the, the label, and D-ribose is there. Um, that's pretty much all it is. There's a little bit of sugar alcohol for the sweetener. Um, but uh, it's not going to cause any, any insulin uh, response that would, might be unfavorable. If I had to pick one, pro, uh, one product in the clean line that's my favorite, is the clean isolate. Clean isolate is going to give you a high-quality whey protein isolate. And whey protein is a highly bioavailable, very easily absorbed, complete protein. It's great uh, as a uh, post-workout protein source. Within two hours post-workout is when you want to get at least 25 grams of protein, in, if not more. This makes it really convenient. Um, you can mix clean isolate in pretty much anything. This is an unflavored version. We are coming out with flavored versions. But like I mentioned, this is a uh, whey protein, very versatile. It's going to give you a lot of the amino acids that are critically important to your recovery and responses and adaptations to training. So this is going to contain a lower lactose content compared to whey protein concentrate. So it's more likely to be a uh, really well tolerated than that type of protein. Uh, weight, weight concentrate is sometimes used, but it's going to have more lactose. This contains uh, electrolytes, naturally occurring sodium, potassium. There is nothing added in here, no artificial sweeteners or flavors, just like the rest of the clean products. Nothing, uh, nothing that you don't need. And then you can mix it in anything, like I said, sports drink, water, um, anything you'd like. You make smoothies with it. Here's the product label. You can see that there is an amino acid profile in here. 
typical amino acid profile of whey protein isolate. There's a lot, um, a lot of leucine. Uh, the BCAA representation here is very strong. Uh, so those are naturally occurring BCAAs. The good thing about BCAAs when they're given in an in a, in a, in a intact protein, the absorption may actually be more rapid than uh, the free-form BCAAs. Um, so this is an important component to any athlete's regimen, just giving this highly bioavailable spectrum of amino acids in an easily absorbed form. A critical window of opportunity happens post-workout, right after you stop working out. The muscle becomes very receptive to nutrients, specifically glucose and protein. So if you provide those two nutrients as soon as you can post-workout, you're going to recover faster. It's that simple. If you have to do one thing to enhance recovery, this is what you should do. Uh, a four-to-one ratio of carbohydrates to protein has been shown in studies to be very effective in athletes who are trying to maintain a high uh, – highly demanding program day in and day out of high volume and or high intensity exercise. So clean recovery makes it really easy to do that because it provides that, that ratio and it provides a protein that's very well absorbed. It's salmon uh, protein hydrolysate. It does not taste like salmon. Actually, this is the most delicious recovery drink I've ever had. And it also contains carbohydrates, dextrose and fructose. These are simple carbs, and the reason they're in there is to produce an insulin response, which is critical to get those amino acids into skeletal muscle. So insulin happens to be the most anabolic hormone in the body, regardless of what anyone tells you. That's the one. And you can really capitalize on that high insulin sensitivity that's happening post-workout to shuttle those, those nutrients in there. So the sooner you can do it, the better. 15 to 30 minutes post-activity is ideal. You could just take one round, rounded scoop or one sachet, mix it with water. It tastes great. You can actually add whey protein isolate um, that is already in this product, but you can fortify that if you want. You could mix these two, the whey isolate and the clean recovery, if you want a higher protein content. But this makes it easy just to get that ratio as soon as possible, make it convenient, make it taste good. And this is really going to help the anabolic phase that occurs after exercise, help maintain positive nitrogen balance, and support an environment in the muscle tissue that's going to be conducive to a faster recovery so that the athlete feels like he or she can do it all over again the next day. So I, I talked about, very briefly talked about absorption of protein and amino acids. If you look at the green line, that is the hydrolyzed salmon protein. The absorption is very rapid because these, proteins are already partially broken down, um, so they are very easy to absorb. So that's uh, just comparing to different types of protein, including whey protein hydrolysate. Here's the uh, label right here. Um, this is a great tasting way to enhance recovery. So it's going to give you sugars. It's going to give you um, protein, high-quality uh, proteins, as well as naturally occurring calcium and potassium. So moving on to some of the more specialty products, clean antioxidant is going to provide antioxidants that have been very, very well researched over the years to support mitochondrial function and defense against free radicals, which are released in abundance during uh, exercise and after exercise, and in general, depending on um, how intensely the athlete is training, um, whether they're in an overtrained state, uh, whether there are other health factors playing into their oxidative uh, status, this is a well-rounded antioxidant product that provides strong defense against free radicals that can disrupt metabolism and recovery. There's Mackey Berry Superfruit in here that helps uh, along the same lines. Astaxanthin is a fat-soluble carotenoid antioxidant that um, supports healthy aging and muscle function. And then acetyl carnitine and alpha-lipoic acid support mitochondrial biogenesis, and they also help with antioxidant protection as well. So here's the product label, just showing you how much of um, each ingredient are there. And this is formulated, like all clean products, formulated based on uh, studies showing effectiveness and safety. Clean focus addresses the cognitive aspect of performance, which may or may not apply, depending on the type of sport you're dealing with. Um, the, the acetyl carnitine, alpha-lipoic acid, these, like I said before, support mitochondrial function and mitochondrial formation, which help with antioxidant defenses, cognition, 
Um, and aging has a lot to do with mitochondrial function. So there are a lot of ways that uh, acetylcarnitine alpha lipoic acid can help an individual, whether it's cognition, um, whether it's recovery, antioxidant defenses. Um, there, there's a, there's a quite a long list of, of benefits. Alpha GPC supports neurotransmission, uh, which is an important aspect of brain function. Alpha GPC, um, this is uh, one of the precursors to acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter. There's a, vi a vitaberry fruit blend in here, which provides additional antioxidant and neuroprotective support here. So, on behalf of Clean Athlete, thank you for taking the time to learn about our brand and product line. We encourage you to visit us on the web at www.cleanathlete.com to review the information presented here and much, much more. Happy and healthy training.